So I do think it's important for us to kind of create some clear boundaries as to what is and is not um, accepted in terms of um, what folks can say. I did, in my conversation with um, Raquel uh, Beltran, uh, discuss some of this. And I know that Kathleen, you know that they've been um, really open to reaching out with any specific issues as, I, as our stakeholders are. But I do think it is important for us to, um, I, I think there's a, like, we really need to be cautious and careful. Um, I don't think that any side, and as was noted earlier, uh, whether stakeholders or board members, just as we heard Taman take the oath earlier in terms of we are representing everyone, whether we agree with them or not, that is, a, that is uh, kind of central to our um, election and our uh, position on this board. But Gibson, if you could speak to, are there avenues that people can um, can pursue that are outside of this space? Because I think it is important to offer folks that opportunity if they feel like that is necessary. Just wondering, can you ask that question again? Sorry. So uh, one of the questions that we received, like if there are issues with how folks are um, being whether stakeholders or board members, um, what are what's an appropriate recourse or um, who do they go to when those sorts of issues arise? In regards to stake, uh, the relationship. Stakeholders or board members. The board members are feeling a certain way or stakeholders are feeling that they are being attacked in a certain way or board members. So what is, a, what is an avenue for folks to pursue in terms of uh, things that are being said or not said? Or are, is there I, even not an outlet for that? I think I definitely want us to touch base on um, your, uh, I think it's not as simple as that question is coming that way. So what I want to touch base on is, is if stakeholders are attacking board members, we know like that information is contrary, but it's, it's not true. The one thing about the president is we want to make sure, I always ask the president or the chair of the meeting if we take back control of the meeting and let stakeholders know that, hey, we are going to stick to the um, motion at hand. We're not going to slander any board members. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to bring any board members. We want to make sure the action is, uh, remains at hand. Um, also, what we try to do is when some stakeholders get the opportunity to talk ill um, of another board member, personally attacking them, um, what I've done is sort of I've advised some of my board members to let the board member who's being attacked to actually just speak up for a few seconds, a few minutes to clear up what the information is brought up at hand to make sure that the stakeholder has the opportunity to refute any information in, in such aspects. Um, we, one thing about um, the interaction between stakeholders and board members is when a stakeholder sort of provides public comment, you want to make sure that they're public, providing public comment on the motion at hand. And I think that's always, so sometimes we, we, always, um, we always want to remind stakeholders to come back to that uh, narrative. But I've had several challenges, I will sort of acknowledge it there have been times where it's challenging with the stakeholders uh, attacking board members. So sometimes it's a little hard um, to right. stop that. That's my but question to ask you to kind of to offer us some, uh, some advice as a result of that. Because I, I can hear folks asking, like, the chair of the control. But, li but the, essentially the motion that we're considering is, you know, how um, it, it's precisely this issue. So having... Um, clarity on that, I think, is really important, and it would be actually extremely useful for myself as well. And so, one first things first. I think one thing about civil discourse is, in a virtual setting, I want everybody to sort of understand this is also very new. The rules are not there because if it's in a public meeting, um, what I would really advise is we have the do, the do not disrupt signs. Um, I would work with the president to make sure that they're posted all over the physical posting, and what we try to remind folks during the beginning of the meeting is. If you attack anybody, uh, if you do threaten other board members in any type of uh, ask fashion, what, we, what you will do, you'll be asked to leave, and that's when we usually um, LAPD can be called at hand or security services can be asked to um, ask the board member to leave. So in the mo as sort of, since we're not in a physical aspect, one key thing is it would have to, since this is very new and there's no policy at the moment, um, I think one thing we want to let folks know is that uh, I definitely get the motion at hand is um, giving all board members the right to speak freely without fear of attack. Um, I think the social media is still not there. We don't have that full message there. It's something that the Board of Commissioners is taking up. However, the first steps, first things first is, is it during a board meeting? 
Um, if it's during a meeting, the president at hand would tell the stakeholders, okay, you'd let them know, hey, you are disrupting the meeting. Uh, this is your first warning. And if they do, don't stop, you have the power to mute and take away your ability to speak to further in the meeting. However, we also just want to recognize the board members, stakeholders have public, um, the First Amendment to speak. During public comment, the First Amendment is protected. Um, and we want to make sure that we understand what the dynamic is. I'm not saying that to dismiss what the issue at hand. I'm just re letting everybody know at the moment, this is what something that's being discussed and it's being proposed as to what's the best steps and actions with social media um, and how do we go move forward. And so the policy is not there for us to fully enact that. But this is something I can bring up to um, our, our team and the department as well as the city attorney's office to make sure that we have something in writing that gives better guidelines, especially in times like this, because everything is virtual. 